In April, the Russian Federation took advantage of the chaos of the defense forces regrouping near Avdiivka and attacked, breaking through the positions of the 115th Mechanized Brigade of the Ukrainian Armed Forces, which had recently taken up positions in Otteretino. The Russian 30th Motorized Rifle Brigade quickly advanced west. Enemy reinforcements rushed into this gap and consolidated their territorial gains. As Forbes writes, the situation is now repeating itself on the same section of the front. Over the past week, the occupation forces have managed to advance 6.5 kilometers west of Otteretino. The well-known Ukrainian war correspondent Yuri Butasov called the situation critically difficult. It is noted that Russia still has more people and heavy equipment than Ukraine, which allows the aggressor to withstand greater losses than the Ukrainians can accept. Therefore, despite daily losses of thousands of soldiers, the Russian Federation continues to attack and try to break through. Confusion among Ukrainian commanders also plays into the enemy's hands. The Russian breakthrough around Otteretino in April threw the Ukrainians off balance. The Russian command is attacking those brigades that have the weakest command and organization. That is, the enemy is not looking for the most vulnerable lines of defense, but the most vulnerable units, Butasov explained, allegedly hinting at the 110th Mechanized Brigade and the 111th Territorial Defense Brigade. At worst, he said, Ukrainian forces west of Avdiivka are completely confused with drone crews and electronic warfare troops scattered and disorganized. The worst case scenario for Ukrainians is dire enough. If Russian troops, including the 433rd, 506th and 1195th motorized rifle regiments, manage to advance another 14.4 kilometers west, they will reach Mernorad and Pokrovsk, twin strongholds, that function as gateways to the Dnipro region, which has remained under Ukrainian control until now, the publication warns. Ukraine's Center for Defense Strategies counted 27 attempts by Russian troops to penetrate the volatile Ukrainian line east of Pokrovsk on Monday. 22 of the attacks failed, meaning five were successful. I can't say that the Ukrainian command doesn't see and doesn't understand the critical situation. A lot is happening. None of the commanders are sitting idly by added a worried Butasov. In his opinion, it would help if Ukrainian electronic warfare systems stopped jamming friendly forces in this direction. The military correspondent noted that jamming itself destroys a significant number of Ukrainian UAVs. Thank you.